happening everybody this is Jason A. Smith and I'm here to give you a few tips about meditation now when I first started meditating it was based on spiritual peace and honestly it's something that's very hard to come by in today's age because of all the busyness all the information in our phones computers tablets and so on you know with the busyness of life whether or not you're married or single have children or not there's always busyness going on in our lives and to have eternal peace sometimes meditation can be a key aspect of slowing down putting things back in place and feeling internal peace so with that said I'm gonna give you a few things that I've done to experience the overwhelming sensation of meditation the first way I started meditating was this I first started thinking about only one thing at a time the aspect of focusing on one thing at a time is very very difficult because in today's day and age we have all of these apps on our phones we have all of these activities, this long to-do list, and all of these other things that are going on in our mind. Sometimes our emotions are pulled in different directions, and that's very, very difficult. Of course, closing your eyes is probably one of the first things that you're going to first think about when it comes to meditation. After you do close your eyes, you find one thing that you're going to think about that you can focus on. The focus is this closing out all of the things that are happening day to day minute to minute in every single aspect of your life and i say that because it's going to be very difficult to focus on one thing when you find that one thing it's going to be able to push other things away from your experience in meditation because the whole process of this is to eliminate confusion anxiety and the overwhelming aspects of everyday life so here's an example of that aspect meditation is more so based on isolation and what the isolation means is that x out everything push everything away like nothing is supposed to enter your mind during meditation unless you focus on that one thing so here's some examples some of these examples may sound very weird but at the same time when you really think about it they'll begin to isolate you and put you in a place putting yourself in a closet. But the first step is to focus on the door of the closet because the door is what's keeping things out of the closet. A garage door could be the exact same way. If you're in the garage, you focus on everything that's in the garage. But if you focus on the garage door, everything outside of the garage door is what's keeping your mind confused. It's giving you anxiety. It could be something as weird as a jar. You could be inside a jar and the lid of the jar is what's keeping everything out. So you want to focus on something that's going to keep so many elements away from your life. Like, honestly, with me, I thought about a boxer. And the boxer was hitting every single thing away from me that would keep all of the mental aspects that would try to enter my mind. And I would focus on that one thing. It would, foc it would help me focus on the repetition of the boxer just annihilating and destroying anything that was trying to enter into my mind. So the point of this is to get everything that's trying to enter your mind, into your spirit, deflected away from you. And eventually you'll get to the point where you won't even think about the one element that's keeping things away. The next tip I'm going to give you is focus on your breathing. When it comes to meditation, there's no set period of time. But if you really focus on each and every breath that you take, you begin to isolate yourself once again from the outside world and focus on one if not the most important aspect of life and that's oxygen so taking in your breath and releasing it out you focus on your breathing because it's a life cycle and it always continues again it gives you a repetition and a pattern to follow and you begin to not think about anything but your breath you begin to fall into this peace of not thinking of anything else but concentrating on your breath now, some people may find peace in certain things such as water flowing or rainfall or snow. All of these different things give us peace because of the constant repetition, but it's not happening in a chaotic manner such as a hurricane or a typhoon or an earthquake or a, a tornado. Those are chaotic things that are happening. And honestly, to a different element, we should be able to find peace in those. But it's really hard to find that if we can't focus every now and then and put things back in order. And honestly, it may be difficult, but if you can get that up to about 10 minutes, maybe set your alarm, that may actually help. Tip number three, and this is for the real spiritual people in religious aspect. Take a prayer that you know or something written in the biblical scriptures, Quran or whatever it is, and say that prayer. But when you say it, use your breath to say it don't just speak it say it with your breath 
Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Use your breath to say it. Now at this point, you are focusing on two different elements, but it's giving you the peace of the prayer. So that's part of what meditation really is, is putting things back in order, getting things back in focus. Ultimately, prayer is a persistent way to get into meditation if you focus on what you're saying. So with the second tip, we focused on our breath. With the last tip, we actually talked about actually adding prayer to that. Now. Meditation can actually put you to sleep and there's nothing wrong with that because when you come out of meditation, any type of meditation, it's almost like a computer with files being put in the right folders so you know exactly where they are. So what that means is that when you come out of meditation, the things that you were thinking about before, what happens when you come out of meditation is that the value of things begin to take precedent. The most valuable things, the most prioritized things, all of these things fall into place and what really matters puts itself in the forefront. And that's one of the important aspects of meditation because you can find peace in so much chaos. With all the things that go on in the world, you get to reprioritize and think about what's important. And the anxieties that you have, you realize that it really wasn't that big of a deal in the first place. So with that said, again, I'm Jason Smith. I hope you subscribe to this YouTube channel. I've got much more to come, not just based on spiritual aspects, but life in general, money, finances. So hit the subscribe button. Again, this is Jason A. Smith, and peace and love to you.